Welcome back, it's Lisa Hanfaletti, and in this video, I wanna show you three easy ways that you can link your PDF inside your email in order to deliver it to the person who just opted in to receive your ebook or PDF. So in order to do this, we need to go into email. So we're gonna go into emails and then campaigns. And then you should find the campaign that has this sequence in there. So we're gonna click on that. And it's the very first email that has the link to the ebook, right? They just opted in and then immediately they're going to get email one, right? It, as soon as they opt in. So we're gonna open that and that's where I added an image. You can add an image simply by clicking in this area and I'll just make some space here. And wherever I put my cursor, I can come up to the toolbar up here and click on image some choices right here. You can insert the link to the image, but if I just click on the image, it gives me the opportunity to find that image that I want in there. And so I can just grab it. Here is a, a different version of the same image just without the arrow. So you can see how big that comes in. So this one also came in really big, but all you need to do in order to uh, change the size is to look at what the choices are first that they give you. And so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna move it over to the left and then I can just grab the edge and I can pull it in to the size that I want it. So you can play around with that. You can play around with how the text wraps around it or not by using some of these other choices here. So. I clearly do not wanna use this image because I already have one in here, so I'm just going to select it and then I'm going to hit the back button and I just deleted that. And I'm back to this image right here. And so the how do I add a link? It's the same way you add a link for text. You click on the image and then there's a little link button right here and you can click on that. And then here is, in this case, I have uh, this linked, this ebook linked in, in a Google file, but I wanna show you how you can create a link right in system. So we'll come back to this in just a second. So for now, I'll go ahead and I'll delete the link. So right now there's no link associated with this. If I click on link, there's nothing in there. And then if I wanted to link text, I would highlight the text that I wanna link. So let's say I wanted to link this text down here, which is not linked right now. Then I would come up into my toolbar and I would select a link from here and I would paste in the link and hit the check mark here. And then I could change the color of this to my brand color. So that's what I did up here. I changed it to the pink color simply by going up here and then you can change text. Here's my brand color. If, if you don't like any of these colors, you can go to color picker and you can put in the hex code for your brand colors here and uh, include that in your email. So before I go and get the link, let me just show you another way so I wanna show you three ways that you can add the PDF to your email. So I'll come back to the link method, but I wanna show you, I think an easy method, which is to add an attachment. You could simply add the attachment. So if I come in here and I click on that, then I can come and I can find my ebook right in here. And that is this ebook. Let me do a little quick preview here, quick look, make sure it's, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one that has several pages to it. So I can close out of this, and this is the one I wanna select. I'm just gonna select that and click open. And you can see right here, here is the attachment. It actually didn't take any time at all to upload that. You can see it's right there. So when I email this, it will come through as an attachment. So that's one way you can add an ebook. Now, if this was too large and it came back and gave me an error, then you can go to something called smallpdf.com and it'll compress the file. It compresses all kinds of different things here. So all, all I would have to do is drag my um, ebook in here. So I could just drag the file right in here. And then it is, you can see it's compressing and then I can just go ahead and compress it. And then once it's compressed, I can download it. So it turned a two megabyte file into <laughs> a 306 kilobyte file. So it's 84% smaller. And then I can just download that one and upload it into system.io as a smaller file. And it still looks really good. You know, you're reading this online. It's just, it's fine. 
to, to do that kind of thing. Um, if you have some really, really intense graphics, spreadsheet type stuff, it might get a little fuzzy, so you'll have to double check it. But this is one way that you can send a PDF through an email. So let's take a look at creating a link that you can then link to an image or link to text. And the way to do that is in system IO. So I'm going to come out of here. So I'm actually going to just exit from here and it's going to tell me, do I want to save that I added an attachment? I'll say yes. And I need to go into my funnel page in order to do this next step, which is to create a link. So I'm just going to go into the funnel. It really doesn't matter where I go. I know that's kind of hard to understand, but it doesn't matter because all I'm trying to do is highlight some text in order to uh, create a link that I'm going to save. So one of the things I'm going to do right now real quick is I'm going to open a plain text document right here, just a plain text file. And I'm just going to have this off to the side. And the reason is because when I create this link, I want to have a place to paste it into. All I need to do is select some text. It can be any text. So I'm just going to click in here. I want to highlight text and I can see this little link button. So I've highlighted this one word right here and I'm going to click on the link button and that gives me some other options right here. And what I want to do is use this download button. It's actually linking to a file. So it really is. It looks like a download button, but it's kind of like an upload button. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to ask me what file do I want to upload? Well, I want to upload the ebook. So I'm going to take that same ebook right here. I'm going to select that and it's going to come into my file section and I can now select that file. And it is this one right here. It's the ebook and I know it's the right one because it's five pages that have that little indicator in there. So I'm going to select insert. So you can see this link in here now. And what I want to do is I want to put my cursor in here and I do command A for select all or it's control A or you can use the right, the right click and you want to do select all and then you want to do copy. So I'm copying that link right there. Because what just happened is System.io just stored that file in System.io and created a link for it. So I'm going to paste that link inside this plain text document. So you can see I have a link and I see it ends in PDF. So this is my PDF. So if I was to take this link right now and open it in a new tab over here and just paste it in, this should open up my PDF. So this is the PDF that I want to deliver to my subscribers. So now what I need to do is go back into my email. So I just created that link there. Now I, I, I left, I did not save that. You'll notice I did not save it because I don't need to save the link that I created on that random word. All I wanted to do was to find, was to upload a file and get a link to it. And that's what I did. So I can leave here. There's nothing I need to uh, change. And I'm going to come back into my email. So I'm going back into my email campaign and back into my email one where I want to deliver this and uh, we'll just confirm a save there. So now I want to link this to an image and I want to link this to some words. So I'm going to uh, select the image and select the link icon. And then this is where I paste in that big long link. So the link that I have in my um, little plain text document right here, I'm just copying that and I'm putting it right in here and then I can click on the check bar and now that is linked. And then I would do the same thing with this word or this phrase rather. So I'm going to unlink it. So there's no link there now, just the colors that I've put in there and I can select the whole phrase or one word and I'll come up here to the link little box opens and I'm just going to paste in that big long PDF link in there and now that's linked in there. So now I can do a test email. Let me, let me, um, do save and test. So I'll save an, a, uh, email and I'll have that send it to my email right there. Oops. I already did it. It's going to do it twice. 
I had to add my name in here. And I also went back and I made sure that the attachment was here. I think I had not saved the attachment. So the attachment is here and I added my name. And now when I do save and test and I hit confirm, I should get a success indication. So it says here, a test email has been sent and my changes have been saved. So now I can check my email. Okay, and here is the email it came through and I can click on the image and it should open the ebook and there is the ebook right there. And let's go back and check the link that we linked to the ebook and that also works right there. And let's go back and check and make sure that we have the attachment. So there is the attachment that is linked as well. So those are three different ways that you can send your PDF to whoever subscribes. You can send it as an attachment. You can create a link within System.io the way I showed you. And then you can link that to an image in your email, or you can link it to text in an email. And I want to show you one other way, which is delivering it not exactly through an email, but instead what you can do is if we go back into system, we go into the thank you page. So I'm going to exit out of the emails and let's go to the thank you page. So we're back in our funnel and instead of the opt-in page, which we've looked at quite a bit, let's go ahead and click on the thank you page and let's edit this page. So one of the things that you could do is actually create a button. So we could come in here and if I wanted to find a button, there is a button right here. I could put this button up towards the top and I could say, you know, here, here it is. Like here is your download. And I could click on that button and instead of, you know, having it open to a form or something like that, we can just have it open a URL. And if you remember, we have this URL now from system that we can copy and then we can paste right in here. So it says open a URL when someone clicks on the button and we'll paste that right in. And we want this to, we can open in the same window or we can say open in a new window. So now we could, this thank you page could actually be, here's your download. And so we would say something on here, like click here to open. So we could just scroll down to the spot where we can add text click here to get your thingy. Yeah, that would be the ebook, right? The thing that they, uh, <laughs> I'm not spelling very well. Click here to get your thingy. Everybody knows I do typos. So click here to get your thingy. And then there can be, you can make this bigger and line height bigger. And we don't have to have subtext if we don't want to. And we can come in here and we can change the colors to our brand colors and we don't need a border. So we'll just come down here to where the border is, or we can make it our purplish color and maybe make it around the whole thing. Full border. There we go. So now we can save that. And now when I open this, if I open this up, View this funnel step and I click on this, it should open the PDF in a new window. So that is another way to deliver a PDF. Then what we would do in the email is we would give them this link. So we would give them the link to this page in the email and we'd say, you can go ahead and get your lead magnet by clicking here and taking them to that page where they can then click the button and open the PDF. I don't recommend doing it that way to begin with. I think keeping it simple and delivering it through the email makes the most sense. Um, and I don't like to have things delivered on the thank you page without some other kind of steps that you want to try to help them go through to control the process a little bit. So this is an option, but it's, I don't think it's the best option. I think that it's better to stick with what we're doing here with the email. So have a image, have text, 
or you can deliver the deliver it through a uh, an attachment. All right, so I hope that helps you how to come up with ideas. Again, keep it simple. Use the system IO to create your own link. That way you don't have to worry about a Google Drive link or an Amazon S3 link. You can just, you know, you don't have to worry about any kind of cloud, other sort of software to create the links. You can do it all within system.io. All right, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.